SMPS Understand Guide is made for your help and support by Imran Ashraf for repairing LED TV SMPS power supply, switched mode. Power supply, SMPS, is a crucial part of an LED TV, converting AC voltage to the required DC voltage. If your LED TV isn't powering on, has no standby light or is dead, the SMPS power board might be faulty. Below is a step-by-step -step guide to diagnosing and repairing it. Tools and equipment require digital multimeter. Soldering iron and desoldering pump screwdrivers, insulation tape and heat shrink, tubing hot air blower for SMD components, replacement components, diodes, MOSFETs, capacitors, resistors, ICs, etc. Understanding SMPS circuit blocks. 1. AC input section. Includes fuse, MOV, NTC, bridge rectifier, and filter capacitor. Second. Primary stage consists of the PWM controller IC, switching transistor, MOSFET, and transformer. Third, secondary stage. Rectifier diodes, filter capacitors, and voltage regulators provide the required output, DC voltage. Fourth, feedback and protection circuit. Uses an optocoupler and TL431 to regulate voltage and protect against faults. For entry, Step-by-step, -step, troubleshooting and repair. 1. Visual inspection. Look for burnt components, blown capacitors, or damaged PCB tracks. Check for loose solder joints, especially around the transformer and power components. 2. Checking the AC input stage. Measure AC voltage at the input terminals. Should be approximately 110 volts or 220 volts, depending on the country. If no voltage, check the fuse in MOV, metal oxide varistor. A blown fuse may indicate a short circuit in the primary stage. 3. Bridge rectifier and filter capacitor. Measure DC voltage after the bridge rectifier. Should be around 300 volts DC for 220 volts input or 150 volts DC for 110 volts input. If no voltage, check the rectifier diodes. Use the diode mode in the multimeter. Check the main filter capacitor. If swollen, replace it. 4. Testing the switching circuit. Identify the PWM IC, such as UC3842, STR-W6753, or NCP1200. Check for voltage at the VCC pin of the PWM IC, usually 12 volts to 18 volts. If missing, check startup resistors, auxiliary winding, and related diodes. Test the main switching MOSFET using the diode mode in the multimeter. Drain source should not be shorted. 5. Checking the transformer and secondary stage. Measure DC output voltages on the secondary side, usually 5 volts, 12 volts, 24 volts, etc. If missing, check rectifier diodes, filter capacitors, and secondary regulators. If low or fluctuating voltage, suspect dry capacitors or bad feedback components. 6. Checking the feedback and protection circuit. Measure the optocoupler output and TL431 reference voltage. If the TV turns on for a moment and shuts down, the feedback circuit might be faulty. Replace the optocoupler if necessary. 7. Testing load and overcurrent protection. If SMPS shuts down when connected to the TV, test by adding a dummy load, like a 12-volt bulb. If the supply remains stable, the issue might be on the mainboard or LED backlight. Common faults and solutions. Problem. Possible cause. Solution. TV completely dead, blown fuse, shorted MOSFET, bad bridge rectifier, replace faulty components, standby LED blinking but no power, bad secondary diodes, faulty optocoupler, replace faulty diodes, check optocoupler, TV turns on, then shuts down, over voltage, over current protection triggered, check feedback circuit, secondary capacitors, low or fluctuating output voltage, Dry capacitors, faulty transformer winding, replace capacitors, check transformer. Final steps after repairing. 
double check all replaced components, clean the PCB with IPA to remove flux residues, power up using a series bulb tester to avoid damage in case of remaining faults, monitor voltage levels and heat dissipation, reassemble the TV and test under different conditions. This guide provides a structured approach to troubleshooting and repairing an LED TV SMPS power supply. If you're unsure or the problem is complex, using an oscilloscope can further help diagnose circuit behavior. Let me know if you need more details on any step.